All right, everybody, it's 50% off day at Goodwill, so today is shopping day. And we're going to the garage sale. There is uh, the yard sales and uh, house housing division that is close to where I live. Every time it comes up, I always find some really good stuff. And let's see how many Goodwill stores I can hit and yard sales. So, yay, exciting. So, all right, everybody say hi. Hi. All right, off to Goodwill stores and yard sales. Yay! All right, so we just hit... How many Goodwill... Or how many yard sales did we hit, hon? Six. We or hit seven. six? Six or seven. Oh, on, uh, I stopped... I think I lost count after, like, ten. No, we did not hit ten. Uh, I could have sworn it was. Okay, well, we hit a whole bunch of yard sales in a very short time. And I mean, Goodwill maybe. opened, like, half an hour ago. But we... Uh, I also lost count of how much we spent. I think we spent a minimum of like 50 bucks. But I did get some halfway decent stuff. I mean, I got some decent camera equipment too. And I got boo bear clothes for my boo bears. Because my boo bear stuff is all over the place. Your bear's not Are you done? And okay. they're all naked because I can't find their clothes. It's on your mark, right? <laughs> Your build a bears both have clothes on currently, as we noticed the other night when we were putting the toys away. Settle down. <laughs> the chaos of the first Saturday of the month. Gotta love it. Alright, so that was all the yard sailing and, and some, uh, oh, what was that? A hunt Samantha thing? Some little ceramic American Girl doll, Samantha. Some Samantha, some retired American Girl doll. She's out of retirement, but they've changed thing. all her stuff. So it's not the original stuff. And these are little figurines from the original. We'll show you later. All right, so we're on to Goodwill store number one. Half an hour after they open. Ah! Yeah. I'd rather be garage sailing. One more. We're gonna go back to, all right, I'll get back to you at Goodwill. All right, so we just left Goodwill store number one. Mommy is off hanging out with one of her friends that she found at Goodwill. And so here's what we found at some of the yard sales, just some of the nice little stuff. Here is that Samantha American Girl doll things. I'm not sure, I think this one was supposed to be a book stand. If I can get it out of that little box, I'm not gonna worry about it wife ended up looking them up and they weren't going for as much as she thought and I picked up a couple purses for my neighbor uh, DNG Dolba Gabbana just a couple they were both the same and I picked one up just for myself I really don't do purses but again if you see Prada I mean come on it's Prada you gotta get it it's like even if it's a fake, you gotta at least take it to learn what is the difference between a real one and a fake one. All right, so I don't find these in the box too often, but the lids off. Oh, this isn't a lid. Yes, it is a lids off. The Black and Decker lids off. The used ones I have not had. My other two that I have have not moved, but this one is new in the box. But the box has a lot of wear. So I'm not sure how much it's going to go for on Amazon. If it was brand new and there was nowhere on the box, I think the new ones go for like 120. All right, I've already gotten my VCRs mixed up. I don't remember which one was which. And I've been doing a lot of VCRs lately, and this one, if you remember me from my other videos, VCRs with the blue lip. Ah, oh, son of a bitch! I didn't notice that. Cracked. Well, I'll have to have to eBay that one. Might do it as an auction. But yeah, these always sell. The ones with the blue lit every single time. All right, and we got another VCR with the remote. I forget which one this one was. Uh, I think this one was going for thirty-five or forty. And these were the two finds of the day so far. I can't remember which one was which, but 
I've got a Canon Selfie ES40 compact photo printer. I scanned it. It's everything is in the box uh, in Amazon. I think this one was going for two hundred and forty dollars in used condition. And I have a Kodak Easy Share. Everything was in the box, and I think this one was going for three hundred and fifty dollars in used condition. Brand new, it was going for almost nine hundred. So, all right, uh, we spent twenty-seven dollars at Goodwill Store Number One. And oh yes, just because I wanted to point out, and can I get this open with one hand? That's one side. That's the other. And unzip. This was that camera that I got at the yard sale. I got the camera and a whole bunch of accessories for. $35. Got a cover for Walt Disney. Yeah. He almost spoke my language. He was like, yeah, I paid like $1,200 for this thing when it was brand new, and it's going for a lot more on eBay, but I'm just going to ask $35. It's like, okay. You, you, you kind of spoke my language. You said eBay. That's empty. Got a whole bunch of like I don't really know film equipment, but I do know some of it is expensive as hell. And I know I will be able to figure that out. Just taking a look at some of it later. Ooh, all sorts of lenses. Yeah, that's going to be fun. So, all right, that is Goodwill Store number one. And as soon as Mommy is done chit-chatting, then we're going to be on our way to Goodwill Store number two. All right, everybody, so we just left Goodwill Store number two. I picked up a, another one of those VCRs that I seem to find every time I go out. I've got a food processor. I'm actually not having a lot of luck with the lids and the bowls with them anymore, but the blades are still moving every time I can get them listed. They move, they always move fast, and I might just keep that and either give this to another reseller or just straight up put it out for scrap metal. And a Jack LaLanne Power Juicer. I don't find them as often as I used to, but either way, this and the blade and the juicer part i can't think of the name of it it's really the only parts that really sell off of them but you get your money back off of just those parts i paid uh 350 for that all together with everything that even we got for ourselves we spent 16 dollars so all right that is all from goodwill store number two and on our way to goodwill store number three all right, everybody, so we just left Goodwill store number three. I didn't get a whole lot, and it was almost questionable whether or not to stay or not, but I picked up a Ronco Rotisserie Showtime barbecue grill. Had one once before. Every single part on it sold. Yeah, I think, the, I think my profit margin on that was like 110, 120 profit and not a whole lot of anything else except for I picked up several of these last month and got them off to Amazon the profit margin on each one was on the low end like 40 and some were selling for like 120 in used even though they're library books and this one I've evidently missed and was still here after a month and this one was selling on Amazon for 77 so all right, that is all. I think we spent uh, $18 at this store, and now we are on our way to Goodwill store number four. If I'm walking out of Goodwill without anything, something's wrong. We just left Goodwill store number four. We didn't get anything. All right, 
on to Goodwill store number five. Okay, so let's get lost track of time. We just hit a few more Goodwill or a few more yard sales, and we yeah we we bought some more stuff, and they were basically giving away stuff because it's the end of the time where they just want stuff to go away. So I got like three boxes full of books for like five bucks. Like, really? At the price that you're offering them, I'm just gonna buy them all. Like I didn't get the library books, but they were just so cheap I had to get as many as I could. So, all right. So we have to go home to unload some of our stuff. But yeah, then we will be on our way to Goodwill store number five. All right, everybody. We so we just left Goodwill store number five. We've got. I never find the Nerf guns, but I'm not sure about this one. And I only paid like five bucks for it, and I'm trying to figure out. I'm not sure. I think the minimum it was going for was like $25. But we will figure that out later. I've got several of the Harry Potter books on cassette tapes. I don't have them all, but I do know that if you have several of them, it's going to be worth a little bit. So I will figure that out later what I've got. And I only paid a dollar for this, but it's selling for like 30 on Amazon and it was ranked at number six in its category. I only paid 50 cents for that. Hold on one second. Aiden! We will catch up with mommy in a minute, okay? Mom is going over to that store and we will catch up to her. My wife needs dirt for her garden. So, yay. All right, so, where was I? I paid 50 cents for this and it's selling for like $30 on Amazon. Cassette tapes. Gotta love it, VHS. And I already forget which was which. I think this was selling for $27 on Amazon. Got these for Amazon. Uh, this one was Rent, brand new in the package. And I think it was going for like $17 brand new. And Suze Ormond's, uh, if you don't know who she is, take a look at her. Uh, she has all sorts of financing, financial success, info, books, CDs, DVDs, and whatnot. Uh, she does have some halfway decent stuff, but her stuff actually does sell pretty decent, too. So, alright, that is Goodwill Store number 5, and I have to go help my wife pick out some dirt, and then we have to... Alright, so we just left Goodwill Store number 6. And I got another one of those VCRs that I love to death, but I've never seen this particular model. And I didn't find the uh, price on it anywhere until we got to the uh, cashier, and she's like, it's on the bottom. And then we both looked at the bottom, and we were in disbelief that somebody priced it at $1.99. And being half off day, we paid a dollar for this thing. I'm not even gonna question what it's going to sell for and I'm not sure who did what anywhere but got these things for 50 cents each and that's an Amazon sticker where? I don't know what who did what or where but I've got two of them and they're selling for $18 each on Amazon and they actually have a really low rank, too. There you go. I've got a pure water filter, and I only paid $5 for it. And it's uh, selling in used condition for $23. And it's the question of, are we going to send it off to Amazon, or are we going to keep it? That's still kind of up for debate right now. So... And we got a nice little shelving unit thing that we aren't sure which direction we're going to use it for, which side of the business, but either way, it's going to be nice and handy. 
So, all right, that is Goodwill store number six, and everybody's trying to decide if they have enough in them for the next Goodwill. It can roll. Yes, I'm gonna show you that it rolls. All right, okay. put it in the van. All right, so from here, it's undecided if we're going to the next Goodwill. All right, hang on, I'll get it. All right, everybody, so we just left Goodwill store number seven, and unfortunately, this was the only thing that we picked up. I paid $5 for it, and it's a wall heater. Hang on, that's the Spanish side. There we go, small fan forced wall heater. It's a in used condition, but it's actually in pretty good shape because the box is open. I took a good look at it. And if it was brand new, it'd sell for about $100 on Amazon. Whoa! But used, it's selling for about uh, $65. So, all right. That's the last of the last. And everybody is done, tired, exhausted, and saying, I'm done. <laughs> Honestly, I, I really did lose track. I think we spent somewhere around just over $200 between all the Goodwill stores and at least a dozen yard sales. I'll come up with how many we actually went to once we're going through everything. But, alright, don't forget, like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below.